Welcome to this uh, special uh, Siren Video Byte uh, for the Cybersecurity Week. Today, uh, we're diving into our cybersecurity solution to show how Siren Investigate can help keep our network safe. Hi, I'm Davide, a data scientist uh, here at Siren. In this byte, uh, we will show you how Siren Investigate can be used to monitor and manage a variety of cybersecurity challenges, such as uh, malwares, data breaches, and ransomwares, and how to simplify the process of monitoring the indicators, assessing the risk, and eventually uh, take action. Let's dive in. As you can see, uh, the infrastructure that we're going to monitor is composed of a set of physical hardwares, virtual machines, Docker containers, Kubernetes clusters, and applications. On top of that, we have a set of agents and rules to monitor the network activity of our infrastructure, with millions of records flowing into the Siren platform and elegantly orchestrated by our associative data model, where we can even correlate the data with frameworks like the MITRE attack. The MITRE attack can provide even uh, far insight into the attacker's operate and give us uh, a good set of indicator on which we can uh, perform additional analysis. In today's use case, we're going to start uh, from the CMLR dashboard to isolate a malware file creation and use our automation features and our link analysis tool to assess, uh, understand, and eventually communicate our findings to our colleague so that they can start mitigating the threat. And this, of course, will ensure a safer network environment. Now, the motives behind malware attacks uh, may vary. It can be about making money from you, sabotaging your ability to get work done, even making a political statement, or sometimes just bragging rights. So, as we can uh, see from this uh, left panel, we have a lot of dashboard and a lot of records flowing into the system. Uh, but for this use case, we're going to mainly base our analysis on the CM Alert dashboard where we have a nice overview of everything that is happening uh, in our network. We have uh, some uh, um, rules and we have some events. And for this specific use case, I'm going to filter down a specific event, which is this um, suspicious uh, file creation, potentially from a malware, uh, the, 20 the 7th of October, 2024. And uh, now, when I uh, open uh, the events here, I can see the severity, the risk score, and a set of uh, indicator here, and also the um, part of the network that is uh, involved. Now, um, usually, um, people start exploring uh, connected item uh, in different uh, uh, application and different software. But here with Siren, we can uh, simply use our automation to collect uh, all the information and the records that are connected to this event. And what we can do is we simply um, create a collection. So as you can see, we have the threat, but connected to the threat, we have uh, logs, we have icing events, uh, we have the container involved, the network and even the companies and the domains. So this is very important because I don't need to switch between different uh, console, between different application, uh, but I can simply use, click on a button and have uh, an overview of what's happening in the system. Now I'm going to create a graph, here a collection, and I'm going to add uh, to my link analysis tool and open it. As you can see, uh, we have kind of an incredible overview of uh, what is happening here. So we have the malware um, that created the files and also we have all the elements of my network that are involved, including IPs, Kubernetes cluster, dockers, uh, and uh, the event associ associated with it. But more importantly, what I can do from here 
I can see that there is an infrastructure that is uh, uh, actually involved in uh, this threat. And I can see that we are uh, this uh, monitor a business process. And now this is very important because um, it means that um, the malware is actually operating uh, in uh, a specific uh, domain, so it's affecting a specific company. So I can even expand and see what is um, the company that is affected. And now that I have, uh, I have it on the graph, um, I can simply create a report. And this is uh, very powerful because I don't have to download the CSV, take notes, or uh, um, create a specific uh, report for each of the parties involved, where I can have uh, a very nice uh, overview here. We can see the host and the containers that are involved. We can see the business process, the name of the company, so that we can um, issue a ticket or contact them. And we have a list of the indicators, so this file creation by the root agent, the I, uh, critical events, the endpoint events, and as well for um, the non-professional, uh, some uh, recommendations. So we can isolate the app, um, so you know to prevent uh, further spread uh, of the potential malware. We can conduct a, a forensic analysis. We can review. And um, so as you can see in a few clicks here, we have created a nice overview of uh, the parties involved and uh, uh, what kind of actions we can take to prevent further spreading of the malware. If you have any question, feel free to comment the video. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Thank you.